Hey guys, this is Ernesto and welcome back to another uh, video. Thank you for tuning in. Today we're going to be doing a video focused on three specific items. And these are the items that I talk about all the time on my Monday Critique videos, which is lighting, posing, and composition. Welcome back. So today we're going to be focusing on creating a portrait of Ashley and I'm going to walk you guys through exactly how I do that. You know, all the errors that come up and how I, you know, tackle those errors. I'm hoping that I get a lot of errors so I can show you guys exactly how I overcome those errors. But so the very first thing that we're going to start with is the light. So one of the things I look for or try to um, focus on when I'm doing a photo shoot, any photo shoot, is first focusing on the light. Now that light could be artificial light or it could be natural light. So when I'm introducing artificial light into any type of scene, my first thing I always want to focus on is the natural light and getting that under control. Um, so we have Ashley right here. So Ashley, the main light is hitting Ashley right here. So right now, for me, that light is pretty flat. I always talk about getting uh, depth and dimension in your image. And for me, if I was gonna take this shot, it's just not interesting enough for me. I need a little bit more depth to it. So one of the things I always tell you guys or explain to other photographers is that, you know, turn your body away from the light. And by turning your body away from the main light, you basically will get a lot more depth and dimension in your image. So what I'm gonna to try to do today is take two shots and show you guys exactly what I mean by that. I'm gonna show you the image with the uh, flat light and then I'm gonna show you the image with the little bit more depth and dimension. So let me go and do that really quick and let's go from there. So right now we're not gonna talk, we're now gonna focus on posing. This is just basically just getting some, you know, test shots from you. It may not be the best shots of you, but it's gonna be the, some good test shots. Um, Pre-style. Pre okay. All right, so here we go, guys. Uh, all right, so that was the shot. I'm gonna put that up on the screen. That was the image with the, the flat light, and if you would, if you look at the subject's face, you'll notice that the light is not that great. Now, another thing that you could do is, I noticed that there's some shadows under her eyes and there's not much um, catch lights in her eyes so one of the things I'm going to try to do here is to get some shadows under her eyes and hopefully get some catch lights in her eyes as well so Ashley what I would like you to do is just turn your head that way a little bit and then turn it back up to me just a smidge a little bit more right there now chin up right there so hold that Chin up just a little bit more. <laughs> you said what? So it is bright. Like oh, your eyes. Oh, so close your eyes for a minute. Chin up just a little bit more. Turn your head a little bit towards me. All right, hold that. Do me a favor. Mm -hmm. Open your eyes for a minute. Just tilt your head this way. All right. Hang on. Close your eyes if it's too bright. Chin up just a little bit more. All right, now on the count of three, on the count of three, you could open your eyes, hang on. One, two, three. All right, so guys, I'm gonna show you that shot, those two shots, This, the first one I took and then the second one. So in the second shot, let's see, I'm gonna zoom in on here right now and I'm gonna see if the light quality under her eyes is a little bit better and we do have surprisingly some catch lights in there which is awesome so that was the first shot utilizing that flat light so now let's basically go and create some depth and dimension in this image by simply having Ashley turned around and we're gonna take that shot all right so in this image right now I could see the light is coming from the left so we're gonna have Ashley turn her body away from that main light. So the light is coming from this direction. 
So what's going to end up happening is on this side is going to be a little bit in shadow, which is what we want. We want to add that depth and dimension to the image. Just, yep, there we go. All right, so in this shot, you would see on, which is Ashley's right, no, left side, you will notice that on her cheek, she have a little bit more shadow on her cheek side. So now we add in more depth and dimension to the image and we carve in out her cheek nicely, which is what we want. All right, so I'm gonna have you stand up just a little bit. All right, just like that. Yep, it's in your pants. Oh, okay. So just turn your body this way. Awesome. And then just bring the shoulder back just a little bit. There we go. And just tilt your head this way. All right. Wonderful. All right. So guys, if you take a look at that shot, we have some nice depth and dimension in Ashley's um, cheekbones. We have some nice depth there. Now, if you zoom in, the problem that we're gonna have is we have little catch light. We don't have that much catch light because the main light source is coming from that side. And on this side, we don't have the main light source, so we're not gonna have much cat lights. So, one of the things that we're gonna do is introduce our artificial light. Here we are, we're still at the same location. So we have, we introduce this light, and here we have two speed lights, which is two young yos, I think I'm pronouncing that name wrong, but we have two speed lights in here. Um, right now, I haven't tested it yet, but we're gonna test it out in a minute. And as far as our settings on the camera, we have, we're shooting at 2.8, uh, 1 60th of a second, and our ISO is on low, which is 50 for Canon. So those are our settings on the camera. So what we're gonna try to do is to maintain those settings as much as we can, and we're gonna just adjust this light to help balance uh, the artificial light, uh, help balance the natural light, not the artificial light. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna turn the lights on, and I'm gonna turn the power, I'm gonna start out a half a power with the lights. And then I'm just gonna take a test shot to see what I get. So again, we're basically having the artificial light coming in from the same direction at the main light, um, which is the natural light, the same direction. We wanna set it up in the same. So let me just take a quick shot here. Okay, so that looks okay, but I wanna add a little bit more drama to the shot. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna kill some of the ambient light a little bit by increasing my shutter to about, let's see, 250. Now, as soon as I do that, my, art, my artificial light will kick into high-speed sync mode, which I'll lose some power on that, but that's okay. So let's take another test shot. So that's adding some drama to the shot, but I'm gonna basically try to increase the power on the lights just a little bit because I did lose some power because it went into high-speed sync. All right, and one of the things I just did, I changed my white balance to daylight. I realized I was shooting in shade, which is what I love to shoot in when I'm outside, but daylight is more appropriate when I'm using artificial light. All right, so that's beautiful right there. I'm gonna take a shot without the, without the lights, without the artificial lights so you guys can see the difference. Okay, so that's the shot with, um, without the light and this is a shot with it. All I'm looking for is just a little bit of puff of light. And let's zoom in here and see if we have that catch light. And there we go. Nice of the catch light in Ashley's eyes. I'm gonna take one more shot. Hang on, Ashley, let's go back to that pose.
Beautiful. Awesome. All right, so now we're gonna create some actual portraits. Now that you guys have the understand of what I'm looking for, how I basically create the shots with the light, what we're gonna look for now is gonna actually try to create some, um, some real portraits now of Ashley using the artificial light and also understanding that the natural light, main light is coming from this side. So I shot in this location multiple times. So now that I shot in this location multiple times, every time I come to this location, I always try to find something a little bit different as far as from a compositional perspective and whatnot. So what we're gonna try to do here is find out something different because what we're gonna try to do now is create a real portrait of Ashley. So here's what we're gonna do. So I have this light set up here. I haven't tested it yet. And then I have John on this side. John is gonna have another light and that light is just gonna add some hair light to Ashley because what I'm trying to do here is get this tree that's in the background to help compose the shot that I'm trying to create for Ashley. But the problem with that is I know that the tree in the background is gonna be darker than Ashley and our hair is probably gonna get lost in that background. So with the addition of that light, that light is just gonna help separate Ashley a little bit from the background. So that's what we're gonna to try to do today. Again, still not focused on posing. Right now we're still focusing on the light aspect. All right, so we have both lights on now. We have that main light on and now we have the light for John. So John, just make sure it's pointing to here. And chin down just a little. And just tilt your head this way a little bit. And then chin down. And that left right hand, <laughs> just uh, hold your here. There we go, right there. One second. Actually, you know what? Tilt your head back this way. No. And chin down just a little bit. There we go. Relax your, right now you're, <laughs> there we go. And give me a smile, I like the smile. There you go, lovely. So now what we're gonna do is, the next thing that we're gonna focus on is posing. We're gonna tr talk about how we can pose a subject to get the shot that we want. All right, so let's move on to that one. 